Good morning. Uh, my name's Steve Hartnell and I'm a member of The Free. Uh, you may not recognise me uh, since lockdown. My hair's gone bonkers. Anyway, I was reading uh, John 13 this morning about when Jesus washed his disciples' feet. And it reminded me of a thing that happened to me uh, a number of years ago. I was working, I was volunteering with a, a charity called Grandmas that work with children uh, affect, in families affected by HIV and AIDS. And I had uh, two projects in India, and I was fortunate enough to, to go with that with six other people. And before we went, uh, we prayed about what we might see there, what, what you know, how what was, was God saying to us. And I had a really strong sense that we were going to wash their feet, but I, I didn't know whose feet we were going to wash. And the first week we got to uh, Calcutta and we were working with the children of the um, the ladies that were working on the street. And, uh, unbelievably tragic place to be but and the second week we were in Tenali which is further down in the uh, towards the southeast and in a very um, poor village called Tenali and uh, on the the third day we went to this village that was was a little bit further out and it was the poorest of all the places we'd seen the the track was really muddy it had rained a lot there were cows and dogs you can imagine the what was <laughs> what was on those roads on those streets so and there was a massive pile of of rubbish that the kids were picking out picking out of anyway we got to the village and they they all turned out and the leader of our group Alistair started to speak to them and i, I was overwhelmed with compassion for them and i said to Alistair i think these are the feet that we wash so he said, yeah, he said, I think you're probably right. He said, explain why you're going to do that. So I said, look, you may see us as superior. You know, we come from a richer country in many ways. But in our in our faith, in, in the Christian faith, we don't believe that one person is better than another. And in order to demonstrate that, uh, on the night before he was betrayed, Jesus, the son of God, got down on his hands and knees and washed the feet of the disciples. So I want to wash the children's feet. So they all lined up by this pump and we pumped away and washed the feet. The mothers brought their babies and I washed the baby's feet. And right at the end, a little boy had tugged my trousers and he said, uncle, uncle. I said, no, no, I've, I've already washed your feet. He said, no, uncle, I want to wash yours. And he got down in the mud and he washed my feet. Very humbling. Anyway, f forward about eight years and I'm now working as um, for, for Christians Against Poverty. I'm a debt counsellor and I've been to see a client and it, it, the, the meeting had gone terribly and I was sitting in the office back in church afterwards saying to God, Lord, I'm not sure that I'm very effective. I don't think that I'm doing a particularly good job here. And um, with that, the phone rang and it was the, the project leader from Tenali, Dr. Chiranjeevi, who I hadn't spoken to for months. And he said, oh, we were praying this morning and we felt that you were feeling discouraged. God said, I needed to phone you to encourage you. Well, I was immediately encouraged anyway. And then he said, do you remember that village where you washed the children's feet? I said, yeah. He said, well, do you know, they still talk about that. And now the whole, virtually the whole village has come to Christ. He said, I hope that you've been encouraged. I said, thank you very much. I put the phone down. And I was blown away on, on so many levels. One that God was listening to me and intervened and got this other person to ring me up all the way from India. It was just incredible. And it got me thinking about uh, the situation that we're in now, uh, that we ought to, as much as possible, ask God to tell us who we can phone, who we can text, who we can write a letter to, if, if that's your style. Maybe uh, think about your 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 family, your friends, maybe go down the, the, the list in, in the free directory or your own directory and just ask, Lord, Lord, is there someone you want to point out to me? Is there someone uh, that you want me to, to, to phone? And, um, and if so, what, what, what should I say to them? It might even be someone that you've fallen out with, that there needs to be some level of forgiveness there on your part or on their part. But I guarantee that if you've, when, when you do do this, and you um, use that spiritual muscle to pick up the phone and speak to someone, you'll be amazed at how many times they say, oh, that was just what I needed. So we can't do much, we can't get out, but what we can do, we can phone. And so in the comfort of your, of your chair, 
Just ask the Lord, who can I faint for? Who can I faint to? And what, and what can I say? Thank you for listening. I hope that uh, uh, has some meaning for you. God bless. Bye bye.